Hey y'all, Coldfire here, and this is another SnowRunner video. And today we're going to science the hell out of this game. If you don't have this game yet and you're considering to buy it on Epic Store, make sure to use my affiliate code or the link that is on the video description. So yeah, on this video we're going to a science expedition. But don't you worry, it's gonna be fun, trust me. I'm gonna teach you how can you find all seismic locations for those geo-exploration missions. And no, the idea is not just to tell you where the places are, but how you can actually find them by yourself. And the best part is that you can learn something that could be useful on your real life someday. Alright, so first of all, some background, what the hell am I even talking about? On real life, oil companies use this method to find potential drilling sites to extract oil. And the whole idea is to hammer the ground with a device that will create shockwaves through the terrain. And those shockwaves will bounce depending on the density of the materials they find. And those returning waves will be picked up by sensors on the ground and a 3D map can be made of the underground terrain. So this is what they're asking us to do on SnowRunner. On this game, there are a handful of missions that are called geo-exploration missions, and one of them is really, really important for our progression that is called geological exploration. Uh, you need to finish this mission so you can unlock the Looking Beyond Horizon mission that in turn will unlock you access to the other Russian maps. And those missions will ask you to drive a truck with a seismic vibrator module to some remote locations. However, the game will not tell you where those locations are and in turn will only provide you the distance you are from all those sites. So all you got is the current distance between you and the scan site. So you can just wander around if you want, trying to randomly find. You can also Google around to find locations online, but that's also cheese as hell. So come with me and let's do it on the right way, which is by using math. And of course, the first thing you're gonna need is the seismic device. It can only be fitted in a handful of trucks and the one of my choice was the Azov 64131. The particular reason I chose in this truck is because it's heavy, it's slow and it's sturdy. It will not flip that easy and that is the most important thing you need to pay attention when driving in Russia. The map is really regular and it's so easy to flip, so make sure to bring a stable, slow truck. So if you have this mission active and you're using a truck that has seismic capabilities, the, the game will tell you on real time how far you are from each site. So here we have a north, south and west scan points. And we are going to use this information to triangulate the location of all three sites. So the way to do it is opening the map and by adding pinpoints on the map, as many points possible with the distance of the scan site you're looking for. So here, for example, I'm trying to find the north point. So we're gonna find random locations on the map that are 992 meters away from my location. And here I'm using some added magic to keep those locations on your screen so you can understand what I'm talking about. So I marked three locations that are roughly 992 meters away from my point. And what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna trace a circle that passes through those three locations. However, the circle is not good enough on this case because the map projection, since we are not looking straight overhead, there is this perspective effect on the map. So this is more or less like a novel. So be careful with that. Three points is, in theory, should be enough but the more the better. So this green line on the map will represent all the points that are currently 992 meters away from my location, which means that the north scan site must lie on this line. So what I do now is I grab this truck or even other truck if I have spare money for that, and I will drive to another location on the map. It doesn't need to be really far from the garage, but the further the better. And I just repeat the same process on this different location. And this will give me another circle that will contain the possible locations for the scan site. 
And if I overlap these two informations, the overlap of those circles will give me the two possible locations for the scan site. In theory, I will need a third circle. This is why this process is called triangulation, because you need three central points. However, the uh, quest says that uh, the scan is on the north, because it's a north point. And with that, I can rule out this southern intersection. It's mind-blowing, isn't it? We got the location for the first sight using nothing but our brains. It's the power of math right there. Here in this video, I used fancy softwares like uh, Photoshop and Premiere Pro to draw those circles. However, you don't need that for you. You can sort of try and error draw the circle by switching back and forth between the two trucks. So this is why it's important that you use multiple trucks instead of just one, because it will make your life much easier. So here when scanning the south point, I sort of just keep going back and forth between my two trucks and adjusting the distance until both trucks agree with the reported distance. So that means that must be the spot. If you're having any trouble with this mission or any other mission whatsoever, make sure to join my Discord server and chat with the folks there. There's a lot of helpful people that will be willing to help you out. Link for it is in the video description. And now comes the not so fun part, which is get to those locations. My tip for you here is take it slow, use low gears, not, do not rush it because the terrain here in Russia is really tough. Doesn't look much but it will flip you over if you're not paying attention. After you reach the location all you have to do is press your function key and deploy the seismic hammers. The mission will update and that location will be removed from your journal. Rinse and repeat two more times and there you have it. Mission accomplished. You are almost $10,000 richer and you one mission closer to unlocking all the maps of Russia. That will be all for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you learned something new with me today. And I'm just gonna leave to you some bloopers and hard moments I had for getting this mission done. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I see you next time.